Welcome to the channel, everybody. Level M diecast, green light action on deck. Super happy we can bring some green lights. Been a little bit since we've had some proper green light. Uh, we are going to do full rotator treatment on these ones because these ones are Lowrider Series 3. So 1971 Chevy Monte Carlo in yellow. I cracked that guy open. The uh, card art hasn't changed since Series 1. They just changed the series number. So that one looks pretty good. This one, 1955 Chevy Bel Air in a two-tone. One looks okay. We'll crack it open and see if that one looks better out of the package. Ah, fantastic. 73 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This one, just very, very regular. Uh, looks pretty nice, just like somebody put it on some bags or uh, lowered it down and just put some wheels on it. Kind of a factory look to it. Pretty happy about that one. Uh, this one might be the best of the mix. I guess we'll see when we crack them open. 63 Impala Patina style. Um, that was looking pretty good in the package. Get it out of the package. It might even be even better. Of course, uh, Lowriders is not complete without some type of uh, Caprice. This one is an 89 Caprice here. No extra, you know, spare tire on the back trunk or nothing like that. A little bit of pinstriping on this one, so pretty cool on that. And then, of course, this one as well. 1972 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Looks like it has maybe a new style of wheel or a new print style for the wheel. Um, but we're going to take that open and uh, we're going to check them out. So let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, kicking this off with our 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-tone. Uh, that is a uh, kind of a satin finish to the brown top. Um, I actually think it's really nice. Um, it's got a really nice texture to it. I like that it just completely covers the whole back of it. It's just a really, really nice look to it. Um, I wouldn't really consider this one a lowrider, just in my opinion. Um, this is more of just, uh, you know, just a, a custom build. You know, something that you'd see somebody pull out of their garage, you know, cars and coffee or something like that. But I think it looks good. Um, this is definitely probably, yeah, probably the best version of this casting thus far. Um, I just really like the two-tone look to it. It kind of makes, kind of reminds me of like maybe a, a, a milk chocolate covered cherry. <laughs> just the colors. It's just kind of an interesting look to that. Um, I can tell you the quality on this one is absolutely flawless. Um, the quality is amazing. Now, in case you guys didn't know, Greenlight does have a new president. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, that is kind of showing in some of this product. He's relatively new. Not sure if this product uh, relates to him starting or not. Um, he's been working for Greenlight for a little bit now. Um, but if that's the case, uh, regardless, um, this one is very, very nice. Now, one thing that I will point out uh, to everybody, uh, these models are no longer numbered. There are no longer numbers on the bottom of this green light release. Whether that's every green light release, we will wait and see, but there are no numbers on this particular release. So I know a lot of people like to see the numbers. Unfortunately, there is no numbers for California Lowriders Series 3. Our next one up, 1971 Chevy Monte Carlo. Um, this one's really nice. This one's really nice. I I wasn't too sold on the yellow at first, uh, but seeing this in person, it looks fantastic. It looks really good. There's some small pinstripe details all over the casting. Um, and of course, the black vinyl top looks really, really good. This one does have an opening hood. We'll take a look at that in just a minute, but we'll kind of let it roll around. A um, little bit of extra yellow. Uh, in that front clip area looks pretty good around the headlights uh, make it accurate the wheels look pretty good it's got a very very good stance to it uh, for sure um, you know with the white walls on it looks it looks okay um, I do like the uh, pinstriping on the uh, the uh, trunk in the back there looks pretty good as well black interior for this particular one popping up the hood um, I always like when they paint this around when they get the whole surround painted i don't i don't like seeing the color of the car when you pop open the hood even though that was that was relatively common for some cars um but a lot of cars it was all painted black in there so that one looked pretty good does have an orange block obviously the hood stays up which is pretty nice i definitely like that detail and of course it opened really nice again there is no numbers on the bottom as far as like production numbers gl 167 is your casting number so copyright numbers, there's no um, etched numbers, there's no stickers, there's no nothing. These are not numbered, which is kind of interesting. Um, if they're getting away from numbering, I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm okay with them not being numbered. I don't think it's a big deal, but uh, just kind of an interesting thing. 
This one's pretty nice. 1989 Chevy Caprice Classic. Um, the color is actually really nice. It's a uh, kind of a darker uh, burnt orangish red. Um, it just looks really good. I just think it looks really good in my opinion. Very simple uh, pinstripe on the side, just in kind of a a uh, orangish yellow, which looks pretty good. Of course, this one is the uh, the uh, one piece headlight in the front. There was quad headlight ones, but this was the one headlight piece. Looks, I think, it looks pretty good. Um, stance, of course, is good as well. Green light has definitely got the stance on these just right. Chrome bumpers front and back look good. Those are extra pieces. Again, again, quality is fantastic. The quality of these models is absolutely superb. I can't even tell you. This is the way the green light should have always been. These models are so good. So good. Just pulling them out of the package, I realized that the quality was just unbelievable. And I hope that this is what we have uh, moving forward from Greenlight because this is just fantastic. And, of course, just those nice wire wheels. A little bit of details on there, just like showing that one off. Looks pretty good. Love the stance. They always have a good stance on the Caprice. Even the police cars have a good stance. All right, we're going to move on to some Cadillacs. Uh, you guys know we absolutely love these castings here at Level M. Um, the DeVille and Coupe DeVille. Sedan DeVille and Coupe DeVille. This one just looks cool. I just think this one looks cool. It's like, um, it's literally like somebody got their grandma's car or, you know, grandpa's car or whatnot. And, um, you know, just slammed it, put it on some airbags, some hydraulic or something like that. And um, it just looks good. It just looks good. I just think it looks good. Um, very, very simple. Very basic. Sometimes that is a necessity uh, here and there does have some pretty nice wire wheels on there of course all the chrome looks good quality again quality again you know i i beat green light up and i always rag on them for quality but this time the quality is absolutely fantastic i just i can't get over how good the quality is with this release i'm really 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 happy it just it just puts a smile on my face as a collector knowing that we're actually getting a good quality product from green light for a change because um, they've been rough for a long time. Those nice Dayton wheels look pretty good. Like it. Definitely pretty good. Such such a good casting. All right, moving on to the Sedan DeVille. This one does have a... Um, I don't know if this is a new wheel. Or if this is just a kind of an interesting printed style wheel. Um, it's a black wheel with a chrome hub. Um, I just don't recall seeing this before but i think it's just throwing me off because maybe it's uh you know black and chrome instead of all chrome um, but i think it looks fantastic i really like this one this one just in plain white this car in real life not not all that attractive it's not ugly but it's not all that attractive but as a die cast model right here in front of us it is superb it's one of my favorite castings from green light um, i love this one more than the the coupe de ville but I really like sedan, so I'm a little biased. Um, but again, the quality, the quality is so good. It's so good. It's, it's perfect. The quality is perfect. It's exactly, exactly what you're paying for. It's exactly what you should have been getting from Greenlight for years and years and years and years. And Greenlight used to be excellent, excellent quality, and they really fell off. Um, but these ones are fantastic. Now, I don't know if it's, like I said, I don't know if it's just this release, or if this is something we're getting back to, but it is absolutely fantastic. It looks super good. Um, this one with the light blue interior, um, very interesting interior color, but uh, I like it. I like it. It looks pretty good. Again, that's that wheel. Like I said, I think it's just throwing me off a little bit because it's a chrome hub on the black black wheel, but it looks fantastic. It's ultra. I mean, even up close, look how good those details look. Up close, up close. Look at that. Look how good the print looks on the door handles and everything. I just can't get over it. Can't get over it. All right, I left the Impala, the Petit, or Petit, uh, Patina Impala for the last one. Because um, I thought this one might be the best one. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I'm a little biased to the Sedan DeVille, but uh, this one looks pretty good. I really like the finish on this one. Um, you know, the, the problem they have with patina in diecast is, yes, it looks rusted. It looks like it's weathered, but it's always fresh print. 
So no matter how detailed they try to make it look, it's still fresh print. And you can always tell it's fake. And so I'm hoping that maybe some point in time they can develop something some point in time that can literally kind of wear at the middle um, and give it that actual look. But, you know, customizers do it all the time. But not a very easy thing to do on a production level scale. Uh, but this one looks fantastic. I do like all the details on it. Um, the patina looks pretty good. Looks like maybe it was custom at some point in time. Somebody kind of just let it kind of go. Uh, the top is pretty nice. The top is like, you know, it basically replaced the vinyl top. Um, but the rest of it's a little bit worn. This one does have an opening hood, which is always a good uh, addition. Not everything gets opening parts these days. This one, again, has all the painted black surround in there, just an orange block down in there with a air cleaner on the top in silver. So nothing special with it. That's about as far as it opens. It opens a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Let that roll around just one more time. Uh, there's a little bit of print on the uh, sidewall for the tires, too. As soon as we roll that around, take a look at the engine. Um, we'll take a look and see what that print is on the sidewall. Um, but this one's pretty good. I, I personally like the Sedan DeVille more. Uh, in that plain white, but uh, this one is is pretty nice. There's a much, much better engine shot there. Um, that looks pretty good. The hood actually opens a decent amount, closes very, very good. And then just some print on there. It looks like it's uh, BF Goodrich Radial TAs. Um, that is a two-tone wheel. It is gold in the center and then chrome on the ring, uh, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Again, like I mentioned, there is no numbers, there's no etches, there is no stickers. Um, the numbers are gone. The numbers are gone. Now, again, if they're gone from all the releases, it doesn't bother me one bit, although I do like showing the numbers when I do videos. Um, but if the numbers are gone, then uh, the numbers are gone. But uh, there you go. That is the top two, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, with the Sedan DeVille just barely edging it out. Um but that's a really good mix. Really good mix. So drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about the quality. Let me know if you're happy that Greenlight seems to be back. That they got their act together. Which is good for the diecast community. We definitely need that. Now we just need them to get their products in more stores. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch us next time. Leveling diecast. Peace.